What makes us glance at another human being and immediately understand that he's strong? What constitutes this elusive and so much desired image of power? It's a strong and huge neck. It's a level of confidence that radiates from within and captures the attention of everyone around you. It gives masculinities. It gives you a dominant look and makes you stand out among others. While we focus on sculpting our abs, toning our arms, and building stronger legs, the neck is frequently neglected. Most people don't think it's necessary to train the neck because it's not a muscle group that can be appreciated by others. Many bodybuilders don't have a neck that matches their physique because they don't pay any attention to it. Most athletes think that a huge neck is not important because it'll worsen the proportions and visually reduce the width of the shoulders. So, only a few bodybuilders, with the exception of wrestlers, rugby players, and some martial artists, pay proper attention to training their neck. Whether you're playing sports, lifting weights, neck training helps you strengthen your neck muscles, One day, you just might save your life. Push it to the max! Your neck is your foundation. Build it strong. In rugby and in American football, a strong neck acts like a safety feature for the players. Have you ever seen a rugby player or wrestler with a thin neck? No, sir. Only the strong guys. Professional football player Tuckio Spikes is one of them. 53 centimeters in girth and 110 kilogram unstoppable machine. This guy was a juggernaut. He was unreal. In boxing, a strong neck also plays an important role. A strong neck can better absorb and dissipate the impact of punches to the head. This guy was known for his insane and huge neck, Iron Mike Tyson. When we think of Mike Tyson, many images come to mind. His ferocious punches, his incredible speed, his intimidating presence in the ring. But one thing stands out above all else, and that is his neck. A symbol of strength and raw power. Just look at the neck that he had as a youth. It was the neck of a bull. An American freestyle wrestling champion and wrestler, Kurt Angle, has a neck girth of 53 centimeters. Kurt won a gold medal in freestyle wrestling in the 1996 Olympics 
with a broken neck. The doctors forbade him from training. He needed an operation. But Kurt didn't listen to them and won gold. Rubiel Mosquera, Colombian bodybuilder who has a neck girth of 52 centimeters. This guy is a real neckzilla, a massive giant with huge muscles and enormous neck size, really, really big legs and calves. His traps are on point. Everyone likes to train, but often forget about the traps. Trapezius muscles give more power to your back so it can begin to look like a mountain. Johnny Jackson. Ronnie Coleman. Look at those traps. How many weights he lifted. He was a beast. Neck training isn't just about building muscles. It's about building resilience and the ability to face any challenge head on. If you want to support this channel, please consider buying a copy of Redemption Day by Michael John Lawrence. Available on Amazon in the link below. Thank you.